Seriously, this is my fourth time filming this video and I just can't seem to talk right. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So um, for today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my um, bridesmaids and how I asked them to be in my wedding. So total, I have eight bridesmaids. I know if you're thinking, oh my god, that's a lot. That is actually not a lot. I know some girls, they have like 11 bridesmaids or like 20 bridesmaids and that's a lot. <laughs> I honestly don't know how you have that many girlfriends. You know, I, I know girls can be a little catty, but um... For me, I've been a little bit picky on who I wanted to be in my bride to be in my wedding. Um, Josh was just like, when he was telling me how many he was gonna have, I needed to equal that out, or he needed to compromise with me. But then, I was telling him before that um, <clears throat> if he has that much, I don't have that much, <laughs> you know, because he does have a lot of friends, and with me, I'm really, really picky. And I've been close to a lot of girls before, but now I don't really talk to them as much. And, you know, and before, if I was to get married then, I would have considered them being my wedding. But now, um, you know, things have changed and, you know, I've moved far away. And, um, you know, I've made new friends. I've made new best friends that I feel confident that are going to be in my life for a really really long time and that's who I wanted to stand right next to me at my wedding on my wedding day is are the girls who I know I'm gonna be friends with for a really really long time and that I have a good relationship with them and I don't fight with them and that you know they're basically like my sisters so I asked eight of my friends um, three of them are sisters. Um, so Josh's sister, my sister-in-law, and my sister, of course, I wanted all in the wedding. And um, and then the other five, I the maid of honor is actually my best friend from Indiana. I've known her for like years and years and years, for 10 years now, actually. And we've been like really good friends ever since then. And then my two best friends here... And then I've asked my two co-workers. Now, if you're thinking like, wow, she asked her two co-workers, I actually don't consider them my co-workers. I actually consider them my friends, even though, you know, we don't see each other all the time and we only see each other at work. But we have a really good relationship outside of work. And, um, and the thing is also, I also picked out my bridesmaids because they know my relationship with my boyfriend. Like, I've told them, like, all the bad things, all the good things, like, all of the hardships that I went through with my my fiancé. So, um, that's why I wanted to ask, you know, five friends, not including the sisters, you know, because that's a given. Of course, I would ask my sisters to be in the wedding. And then, um, yeah, I'm just really, really picky because I want people who I've been through with, you know, I've been with for such a long time been friends with for a really really long time and I'm confident enough that my friendship with these ladies will last a really long time and um, that's for me though picking out your bridesmaids um whatever you don't have to like say anything negative about why I chose who I chose or why my reason for choosing these ladies but whatever that's not the point so um anyways when I asked them to be in my wedding was such a long time ago. It's actually like it was in the beginning of the year. I think it was like at the end of January when I asked them to be in my wedding. Around January to February because Josh proposed around January. So it's been such a long time since I asked them, you know. So basically the color of the dress will be like a muted purple. Not like a lilac, but like, I think the color is called Wisteria. I'll post a picture down below. But, um, <clears throat> I really wanted it like a muted purple. Not like a deep purple or like, um, magenta kind of thing, but like a muted purple. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make sense. And then for the groomsmen, it's going to be gray. I did... <laughs> have a little it was a little costly when I asked them to be my bridesmaids but you know it doesn't have to be costly or anything but um Pinterest I everything I got was from Pinterest um 
I was inspired by like the wooden box or like the jewelry box kind of thing and I got it from Michaels and they were like I think they were like five or eight dollars each anyways and it was like a like a wood color basically and then it had like a gold trimmings on it and so what I did is I didn't like the wood color so I painted it gray so I also had to buy the paint the paint and then I had to buy the paintbrush that goes with it and then I had to buy construction papers one was glittery construction paper and one was a purple construction paper and so I glued the glitter one inside like on the top of it and then the bottom for the purple or yeah the purple in the bottom of the box and then just glued them together and then I bought like um white confetti papers yeah I think that's what they're called yeah confettis and then um I put three things in there I put um Bat and Body Works, um, body shower, body gel or whatever. I put like a mini candle from Walmart and like a bag of like Hershey Kisses. And then I also wrapped it around with like a purpley glittery uh, burlap. I don't know what it's actually called. Or and then um, I also bought like a lacy burlap. And, um, and then I bought like a black name initial to put on top of it and then so I know who the boxes goes to and then I got a card I ordered from Zazzle to ask them will you be my bridesmaids like on the card it says that and then on the back you can also have like put a message which I did and then yeah you just put a message on it and then you know sign it your name or like dear friend blah 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 will you be my bridesmaids love marika kind of thing i'll like i said i'll post it here on the screen so you guys know what i'm talking about but basically that's it and they all said yes and i'm just so happy that they all said yes yay um so i just can't wait um our next goal is to um find bridesmaid dresses if you guys have any um recommendation around the San Diego area if you if you're from the San Diego area um if you guys know any of like good um reasonable price for like bridesmaid dresses leave it down below and I'm also going to be shopping for um wedding dresses soon so if you are in the San Diego area let me know down below ladies my subscribers um so yeah that's it I am just really excited. Um, the next video I'm going to be probably talking about the venue and our ceremony site which we already found and I'm just so happy that this plan this wedding planning is going so smoothly and that um, Josh has been so 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 I don't know what the word is but he's been so like good about it you know what I mean you know what I mean and um He's just like cooperating with me with everything and you know, I think that's I and I yeah, I think that's the most beautiful thing out of the wedding planning is when your partner is helping you out with so much even though it's stressful and yeah, and I'm just so happy to have him by my side, like planning this whole thing. Yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later in my next video. And if you are new, please subscribe. Um, I would love it. It's free. You get to see my face every time I upload a video. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good day ahead of you or week or weekend or whatever day you're watching this whenever I decide to upload it. But um, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!